Hey, what is going on guys? Spoons here and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to use Twixer and Final Cut Pro. So basically right away I'm going to open up a new project and I'm going to call this Test Twixer. And obviously you're going to have to have Twixer installed to Final Cut Pro. I don't recommend stealing it but if you have to go ahead but I will put a link in the description to buy it legally. Um, but I'm not going to you know, support anyone that steals it or anything like that. So uh, we just opened up a new project right here and we're going to just drag in a clip. I'm just going to use a Gears of War 3 clip. I got a nice dub blind fire and one shot one kill. And I'm going to click uh, or I'm going to press command and the space button or the equal button. And that's just going to open up the clip here so that it's easier to edit and I can just view more of it. Um, and now I'm just going to show you guys this clip at normal speed so you can get a taste of uh, what it is. So, uh, not a bad double blind fire, but that's besides the point. Uh, we are going to try to, f to find a point in the clip where not a lot of motion is happening, just so to make it easier on Twixter, um, because Twixter isn't going to work all the time. Um, so before I get into uh, actually applying Twixter, I should mention this, that Twixter won't work all the time. Uh, you're going to get a little frustrated, and you're just going to have to fiddle with it a little bit. My method isn't going to work you know 100% of the time so you're just gonna have to fiddle with it and you'll find your way eventually just like I did so um, let's get into this uh, I'm gonna find a point in the clip that looks cool and it's just slow motion or, it, or not a lot's going on I should say so right here where the head explodes that's a good point and that just looks cool so we are going to go right there uh, we're going to click Command B and that will splice the clip right there. You can also click this little toolbar and go to the blade tool and just do it yourself like that. But I just find it way easier to, uh, to tap Command and B. So we are going to go to right there in the clip. And we're just going to choose that. We're gonna, I'm going to click uh, Command Plus to make that a little bigger. And then we're going to drag out Twixter onto the clip. Um, now the great thing about Final Cut Pro is that it actually renders in the background so I can be editing on something over here and this part will render as you can see the orange bar is right there and it will start to render um, the clip underneath it you can click right here and it will show uh, the percentage how you know the progress bar of the rendering and it goes by pretty quickly uh, Final Cut Pro does a nice job of that so Twixter is on this clip now but it still looks the same obviously nothing has happened um, so what we're going to have to do is click the clip, go to the beginning, and you will see the Twixter parameters right up here under the effects toolbar. Um, and we're only going to change three of these things, so don't be intimidated by all these options. We're only going to change three of them, uh, and that is the speed, motion sensitivity, and the frame interp interpolation, I'm guessing that means. Um, so we're going to change the frame interpolation to nearest, and we're going to click this little plus symbol, which will add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip. And then we're going to change the motion sensitivity to zero, and we're going to click the little plus symbol right there, uh, again to add another keyframe. And then we're going to keep the speed at 100, but then we're going to click the little plus symbol. And then we're going to drag to the end of the clip, and we are going to change the speed to two, and it will automatically sense a change in the parameter, so it will uh, actually add a keyframe in, so you don't have to click the plus symbol again. We're going to change the motion sensitivity to 70, and we're going to change the frame interpolation to blend. And as you can see, the orange bar is back because it has to render again because we made some changes. So uh, if you click right there, you can see the progress bar for the rendering. And this Twixer might not come out perfectly, so we're going to have to fiddle with it a little bit. I'm guessing it might come out perfect, so let's see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, uh, as you, actually, let me turn the volume down on that because Twixter doesn't go along with the actual... Um, audio it'll actually continue even though the video is slowed it won't slow down the audio so it's good to have music if you're doing a montage or something like that so as you can see the twixter didn't last as long as i wanted to so all i'm going to do is click right here and i'm going to drag this out a little bit just about that far and it's going to have to render again because we made some changes to the timeline and it won't take long 17 percent 34 47 56 60 86 and there we go uh, so let's just watch this right now so that's a cool little uh, slow motion right there as you can see maybe there was a little too much motion in that clip but uh, you can get the idea that it slows it down right there maybe you'll just like pause it right there or something like that and it'll just move slowly 
um, but it's sort of nah, it's sort of a mediocre Twixter effect. However, uh, you know you got to play with it a little bit. Maybe if I move that out just a little bit like that, and I right click on this and I go to Show Video Animation, I can actually see where the keyframes are in this Twixter. So I can move this back a little, maybe maybe move that uh, a little forward and then it'll re-render the clip so you don't have to keep changing these things up here and you get all messed up you can simply just drag these parameter or these little keyframes uh, and it will re-render it so uh, we've got to wait for this to render and we'll see how that one turns out so like I said it, it, it's a little trial and error here with Twixter but you know eventually it looks nice especially in montages if there's a nice break in the music or something like that you can make the um, make the montage even better using Twixter um, all right, so that kind of messed up a little bit. Uh, well, it doubled it, but the clip right here, you know, it slowed down. That's nice right there. Just a nice slow motion right here. Just very cool. It might be a little too slow, but uh, it's still pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so basically that's how to use Twixter. You kind of got to fool around with it a little bit. Uh, maybe change up some of the settings if you want to but those are the settings that I've always used and it just works out well uh, I can actually show you um, some clips from my random clips episode where I used some Twixter uh, and it turned out pretty nice and I just use the same method that I used here let me close that up um, so for example this is actually the same clip that I used uh, uh, right here so this is how it turned out and the rest of us can only stand by watching so as you can see, it's pretty nice. Um, here's here's another example of the Twixter. Greatness is not so Slows it down right straight. there. And here is a third it's example of the uh, Twixter. Greatness is so you know, it's a nice slow motion effect. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, I have been Spoons. Please subscribe if you want more tutorials like this. And let me know how Twixter is going for you. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. And uh, I will catch you later.